Today we review the ASOS Milli GT Bip Shorts in Kallium Blue. Hello legends and super legends, welcome to Vela Harmony. In today's review we have a copy of ASOS Milli GT Bip Shorts in Kallium Blue. I like to do my reviews to where you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure out stuff. I don't like to read up about the shorts or try it on before. So when I do these reviews, it's the first time I've seen the product. So we figure it out as we go along because really they're just shorts. You're going to wear them. It shouldn't be that complicated. The ASOS products have a code on here, one slash three, they call it a Clima code. This is the summer code is one three. They've got two three and three three. I think three three is winter and two three is probably spring or something like that. Anyway, let's get to the short. Same box as the Cento that I reviewed before. They've got the name right there for the short, the Milli GT. Nice presentation. And you've got a, a rider sporting the short and the shorts are in the box. Let's get to them. It's wrapped the same way as the other Cento that I reviewed before. So that's their the style. They've got the little tag on here I commented about. I like that they use a safety pin to attach it. Let's see if they have anything of interest on the tag. So it basically says Milli GT Bib Shorts Calium Blue on one side. And it's got the graphic of the cyclist in action on the other side. Let's remove this so we can see what special design elements they have in here. I'm always very careful when I remove these, but with the safety pin, it does not damage the fabric. I like that ASOS uses that to hold the tag. And these are the shorts. And they've got the climate code stamped on this, the back of this short. It tells you what weather to wear it in is designed for summer minimalist design airy you know almost like a screen back here the color they call kalium blue they also have a pair of socks in kalium blue it's very close to this blue i'm wearing um i basically just call it blue uh, some of the other manufacturers will call it navy blue and so forth but they've got a black band with silicone to hold the, the leg in place. It's got their standard uh, reflective bars on the band. I like to call them bars on the back here because they're very, very visible, very effective. They're not tiny. I like that about the ASO style. It's got a button like on the Cento, but this one is made of a different material. There is no metallic the other one has like a metallic uh, silver insert on the button this one does not but it's the same style let's see if they have one on the leg yeah so they have it in the same spot the button on the other one is a different design It's like black and then silver this one is white and then black around the white white inset so they just change the styling a bit the size of this is extra large and I consider it to be true to fit. This is like a 36 inch waist. I size up. My waist is about 34 and a half. I go up because I'm in between large and extra large. I go up so I can get as long a leg length as possible. And that's another reason they sent this to see. I wanted to see if this one, the leg would be a little longer than the center was on me. Um, so the, the legs are going to vary based on your body type. I mean, I have good sized thighs, so sometimes they pull up. But if you have thinner legs, they might fit slightly different. They've got the same design here in the front where this is a little loose, even though it has a band. But it really comes together when you're in the drops. The pad is different than the cent Cento that I reviewed. It says one piece, very perforated in the front here. You see all the holes in there. A lot of holes in there, and they've got the usually dimple, the dimple pattern pad, and it's stamped. Uh, let's see here. I don't know if I can read that. Okay, 
I finally was able to figure out what this is. There is a stamped insignia per se right there. Hard to read because of the material, but it basically says elastic interface. That's what's stamped on the bottom of the pad. So without further ado, let me put this bad boy on. Okay. My first impressions, I love the fit. Um, the Cento may be the top of the line, and I'm comparing Asos to Asos, but these guys have more of a body glove kind of a feel versus the Centos. And I don't know if it's just subjective. The legs feel longer on these, the way I like them. Not that the Centos was particularly short, but the Centos seem to have a more... I don't know if I would call it dense, a thicker material. Uh, this is more elastic. And maybe that's why they had that stamped on the pad in there that I read you. Um, it's just, uh, it's a fuller feel. I like this fit better. This fit on the Milli GT bibs here feels closer to the feel of the Rafa Protein. And the reason I'm bringing that up is, it's almost like you buy a pair of jeans and they have, I wouldn't call it skinny jeans. I say they have a full cut pair of jeans that more of a rounded feel for those of you who are like more muscular or whatever. And then they have some jeans that have a slim fit. The Cento is not quite slim fit, but not quite full fit. Whereas this is like a fuller cut. So I definitely love the feel of this. And I'm glad that they sent this for me to try because this I would put, for me personally, in a preferable position versus the Cento, I would reach for this more because of the fit and the feel. I hope that makes sense. And that's the way you want to treat things. I mean, that's the reason why I made the comment that it's great that we have these choices because they're going to vary. What I'm describing works for me, but it will help you make a decision depending on your body type. So, uh, this is a more voluminous fit. I hope that makes sense. I love the, the feel. It feels very compressive, but yet not uncomfortable. So yes, this, uh, I mean, ASOS has so many models out there. I would have to try on each one because from what I'm finding out just from these two, and I have the Uno, the old one, this fit of this one has moved this one into my top position among ASOs. I hope this helps you all because the, the Cento is not bad. I, I, you guys know I rode in it, it did its job or whatever, but this one just feels even just standing here before I even get on the bike like you get an, an ah kind of feeling when you put it on. It just fills every shape and contour of your body easier with, with less prodding or encouragement. I hope that helps you. So yeah, they, they make some nice bibs. They're all good. I'm just doing the comparison with the Centos because of the fact that I got one and then I wanted something a little longer. Well, this is it. These legs fit like I like them. I don't, I don't feel like they're riding up or they're out of place. And right around the hips, there's a little more elasticity in the milli versus the Cento. The Cento seems to be a little denser in the, the kind of material they use, although it fits really well. This conforms a lot easier. And what I notice also is in the Cento, this front was a lot looser. Those of you who saw the video, if you don't, I'll put it here so you can compare. I'm standing up and this is nice against my body with an elastic feel. There's no looseness. In the Centos, I had to go down like this to get that feel. And of course, in, the, in this position, this feels even better. So yeah, I definitely love the fit of this for, the, for my body type. So I hope this will help some of you that's on the fence. But ASOS has a winner here in the Millie GT shorts. They make a nice pair of shorts. And both of them have the black band. Uh, this is nice and long as it should have been. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put on my shoes and get on the bike. I'm not even going to put on my socks. This really don't, 
have time for that. I'm just going to put on my good old trusty shoes here and just see what they feel like in the saddle. <clears throat> and while I put on these shoes, I want to add that uh, the point of these reviews is to give you an unbiased opinion in my perceptions. Uh, so if you have a lot of assholes, don't take it personally if I say something that you don't necessarily agree with. That's just my perception. It does not change your perception of your relationship with your garment. It's going to be different for everybody. So, you know, don't feel like you have to defend assholes. I mean, it's not like you have stock in the company or anything. <laughs> you know, that was a joke. But no, but really, it's not personal. It's just a matter of I have to be honest so people can make the right decisions when they're picking. This one here uh, shows that there is a difference between their garments, and I think that's a good thing. I mean, why have the Millie and the other different levels, you know, the Cento and the, the one they had before, the S7, they're all, they all should be different. This is that's definitely a difference in the fit. I wonder if I got the thing engaged. Nope. Let me engage the resistance here. Just want to see what it feels like on the bike. Yeah. So I will definitely be putting this on the road. My first impression getting in here is immediately I'm in the sweet spot. No worries. Same thing for the Cento. But there seems to be more room in the short just in general with the center I kind of had to massage it into place this one is just in place without me trying okay now the legs feel like they moved up a little bit as I begin to ride and I guess that's why they put the silicone grippers I like them about here right there I don't like them any further than that it would have to be pretty narrow because then they just flap around. You know, sometimes if the shorts are too long for your body type, I'm sure you all may have experienced it. If you have skinny legs and you get very long shorts, when they get too close to the knee, these grippers are not designed for the narrowness of this area. They end up just flapping around. They don't look so cool. So you don't want them super long. This is pretty much where I like them. So they're right on the tan line. Very close to where the center was. It's just for some reason, they seem to get there easier than the Cento did. I don't know if it's subjective or not. It may be. But uh, I, like, I like the feel. So the pads just seem to be there. They disappear. They're not in the way. They're right where they should be. You know, most of the high quality shorts seem to have it nailed anyway. But uh, Oslo's in particular, that they have almost like a minimalist pad. And then it's very breathable. You saw the air holes in them. So, yeah. These are worth trying out. If you're in the market for shorts, uh, they're worth trying out. They, they work really well. So, ASOS Milli GT Shorts. Get yourself a copy. You won't be disappointed. Keep getting your K's in. <laughs>